today on DIY Willie, we're taking out the stock and putting in the new JBL speakers. Uh, pretty simple install, moving the door panels. Pretty much I bought all the adapters and wire harness adapters I would need uh, rather than making my own. I have done that in the past, uh, but man, I just want to make it simple. I've got the uh, Skosh speaker adapter. I've got the uh, uh, Metra GM speaker harness. And um, I guess it's a Stinger Roadkill foam to help insulate the speaker around the door panel, improve the sound. Yeah, so uh, it's a hot one, like I said, and uh, I'm gonna get busy on the passenger side. All right, I'll do my best to film uh, everything I can. And, um, well, I hope somebody can use it uh, to uh, do their own speaker install. So there's a few things we got to get off first for the door panel. This trim piece here comes off. This triangular shaped trim piece comes off. This piece here comes off. And there's another piece right inside here that comes off. Behind this one, this one, and this one, there's 10 millimeter bolts that need to come out. This one is just clips. And on this, on the door latch piece, you release this thing right here, and this will come off. All right, I'll show you how to do it. with the trim tool very handy tool oh. that's what's come all the way out oh well I just like to put the hardware back in so I remember which ones go where. This one that we took out of here by the window has a little different nut on it or a washer I mean. Let me see that. Now I'll grab the two here for the handle. One of the clips broke. That plastic on these cars is very brittle. Just easily work around the panel, pulling it loose. There we go. Just like that. So tilt the door up, the door panel. And inside we have to remove inside we have to remove this cable and you just take a pair of needle nose pliers and you squeeze it together and the cable comes right out okay so what you're squeezing when you're taking this off is you see those two little tabs right there you just have to squeeze those in Pull it out of the plastic door handle and pull it up so the ball, the little ball here comes out of the handle. Really simple. All right, so let's get on the speaker. So this is a, this speaker is molded into the bracket as well. So it's one seven millimeter here on top and a clip behind there. Again, one bolt here, seven millimeter. Not that tight. I'll do it by hand. 
There goes my shade. Wish my truck fit in my garage. It would make working outside on it so much easier. One seven millimeter, set it aside. Grab the uh, handy dandy tool and spray it out. It's like I said, it's just got the one clip here, the seven millimeter bolt and this little clip. And then of course we can take our needle nose and pull this out. And then un undo the speaker connection, like that, and that's it, it's out, just like that. Okay, so when you take the adapter, it's in the same shape as the speaker was. So it's got a little notch here area, and it's got the 7 millimeter. we'll tuck the wire inside for now, I don't need it. And this has a little lip that sits over here. So it sits right in there like that and the seven millimeter bolt holds it. But if you notice, it does have tabs to screw it in on the side. But I, I notice that when you do that, it kind of deforms it. I don't want that. So what I do is I take a little bit of this fabric tape and I go around the back side, and that'll keep it from making the rattling sound of plastic to metal contact. And it's real simple to do. I just take the tape put a little bit on I buy this stuff by the rolls from Amazon it works great for wrapping up wires too I haven't had any trouble with it yet some people complain about it but honestly I haven't had a bit of trouble it just sticks to everything that I put it on and uh, softens the vibration. Just cut the excess. Cut that off. Okay, so you can see the tape is on there all the way around. Now when you put this in, it's quiet. It doesn't have any more plastic to metal contact. So we can stick the seven millimeter bolt back in. Just cinch it up a little bit. There we go. That was good. That sound is my fingers. No plastic to metal vibration. Okay. Now we have a wire harness inside. We're gonna zip tie this harness to that one. All right. Now I also have this foam. And this foam is, is to go around the outside. But I mean, it's cut for different sizes. And it has the rings. It's got the outer ring that I use, the inner ring, and then the back piece. So what I'll do is I'll separate the outer ring this will eventually go on the outside of this, but not till after we get the speaker in. I'll take the inner piece and I'll peel the backing off of it. It's got a very sticky surface. Get the wire out of the way. And I'll just kind of stick this back there. It'll help dampen some of the vibration. Helps isolate the sound. Now this one will stick on the inside. Okay, so let's mount the speaker. They do a good job of putting these speakers together, man. I really commend JBL. And I gotta say, I paid for all these things with my own money. I didn't, I'm not sponsored by any of these products I put in my cars. I, uh, I just like the products and uh, I, I believe they really work well. And uh, past experience says they work well. They're just good quality products. So, let me get the other harness. Here's a little pigtail harness. You can see it's the same, the same plug as this, just the male side of it. And it plugs in just like that. You can pick these up on Amazon, Crutchfield, whatever, you know, they, they sell them a lot of places and it just makes the whole install a lot simpler. These things you can make yourself. 
you know you could splice the wires i mean there's lots of options you could do but for me i'm going this way you get the speaker again it's a very well designed speaker good solid casing soldered wires you know it's just a good size magnet i really like it they have good tone good bass response mid bass really and uh just all around really good speaker plug it in there we go remember i pay for all this myself i'm not sponsored by jbl or any of these products i use these are just my choices for a good product there it goes it snaps in place it's just the right size put the speaker up in you know what i forgot one more thing let me see let me disconnect this make it easier okay sorry here i'm back now jbl supplies a little gasket for the speaker at least that's what i call it much similar to what i did earlier with the, the fabric tape They provide a little roll of it here like this. We can take this roll and put it around our door adapter. Need to peel back a little bit and get it started. So you kind of want to put it on the outer edge and work it around. Much like this. It is pretty forgiving if you don't get it quite right. Take it off and you can reposition it to where you want it. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and cut the excess. Right there. Just like that. Yeah, I'll put it inside like that. Okay. Now, the speaker. We'll connect the harness back up. Put the wires inside. Now they give you lots of mounting options with these speakers. I choose the little black screws. They fit perfectly here. And uh, of course when you have your screwdriver handy. I like to put them all in before I tighten them up. Then just run them in, tightening them down. Don't over tighten, they are plastic. Okay, so there's the speaker installed. Now JBLs have directional tweeters. They're rotating like that. So you get the, the sound direction that you need. So these speakers are mounted here, I want I want the speak the tweeter to point up so I can rotate it around this way with the silver piece here on the bottom and the tweeter is actually pointing up towards the uh, the listener that's the way you want it now we'll put this other ring on and like I said this ring goes around the outside and it cushions against the door panels if you looked at the stock speakers they had something very similar. They had this little foam piece here that goes against the door panel. They help dampen the door panel and direct the sound waves. Okay, so let's put this piece on. It's very, very sticky. They stick to everything. There we go. All nice and in. Yep, looks good. Now, shall we turn it on? No, I don't have any music to listen to that's not royalty free. Um, trust me, it works. So, we've got the speaker in, and I'm going to start putting the door panel back together. So, uh, yeah, I'll set you up here on the tripod and we'll get started. All right. 
Now we can put all our 10 millimeter bolts back in. Hopefully we don't lose them. Just two plugs. One, and two. Put those back in. They just snap in like that. And all this hand. Man, that wind is blowing me. Two plugs, one, and two, put those back in, they just snap in like that, and all this hand, man that wind is blowing me. plastic covers in. Remember this this cover here goes in the like that. This one goes behind the handle. It's got a little lining pin. In, gotta put all the little holes, snap in place like that. Oh, and one more up here. Okay, so here's the the lock for the door, and this is a common area for these things to rattle. So what I'm going to do is just take a piece of this tape stick it up the back side like that now this will have that cloth there instead of the plastic it shouldn't rattle so the front is done now I've done both sides of the front I only showed one side being done it's basically the same thing on the driver's side and uh, it's really simple so I have the back speakers to go as well the ones that go down here and again, it's the same process, the same basic caps that come off, and uh, it's the same process. So I'm not going to show it. Uh, I'll do the install, it'll make the install a little faster, I'm not trying to record it and explain it. But it was the same process that we just did on the front. All right. So I hope this video helps somebody to uh, ch tackle their own speaker install in their she uh, Chevy Silverado. Um, it's really an easy job to do. Uh, so please uh, like it, subscribe, and come back to DIY Willie. Yeah. All right. Thank you, and, and uh, goodbye.